Hi and welcome to the Proxmog 3 RDV4 installation video for the Parrot OS operating system. So head on over to the Parrot OS installation page. This will have the details you need to follow. Firstly, we're going to carry out a sudo apt get update. Now after you've carried out this sudo apt get update, if it's telling you to upgrade, please proceed to upgrade first and do this before continuing with the installation. Next what we will have to do is grab the build requirements. The next step is to clone the repo. Well, this will take a moment or two. Once this is done, you want to change into the directory. Once you're changed into the right directory, do a git pull and it should tell you that you're all up to date. Next up is the sudo make udev. Iceman has made the udev script which takes care of the blacklist rules. This should take care of the remove modem manager also, which is a problem within Kali Linux. The make udev command also creates an alias for the Proxmark 3 under the slash dev, which we use to connect to the Proxmark later. If you do get any problems during connection or during the um, process of flashing, please take a look at the installation instructions and take a look at the link that's in there. What you'll have to do is log out and log back in again. And then you'll be able to proceed to the next step. So once you're logged back in, we're going to then continue to make clean and compile. We'll need to change into the Proxmark 3 folder first. Copy and make clean and make all. This might take a little bit of time. So once this is completed, what we'll want to do is to check the connection of the Proxmark. So plug it in and it should come up and we will be able to see that by running the sudo dmessage grab command. So if we paste that in. It will show up. So next thing we want to do is flash the boot rom and full image. And you should hear it disconnect and then reconnect again. And it's all done. So we're going to change directory into the client folder where we have got a choice of two commands um, from the udev. We've got the option to put in the slash dev pm and then press tab and it should come up with the right connection there and then it will open up the proxmark client nicely we can then run a command such as hardware tune which will enable us to see um, the antenna characteristics and that shows nicely in the tuning graph you can also find some other useful commands within the GitHub repo itself, and we'll be updating these going forwards. Uh, so please do stay tuned, take a look at the GitHub, and visit back and see where we're making improvements and changes. All right, thank you very much for watching the video.